This is my very first time playing Resident Evil 4 and I have the opportunity to do that in VR and to be honest there is no other way to experience this game. Look at this and there is something strange going up up there. It looks a little bit more blurrier in the headset. I also have some reprojection just so you know. Um, but this is absolutely insane. These people seem to be friendly. Two seconds later. Well, they are not friendly and there are quite a lot. I have a knife, but I do also have a gun. There's a guy coming at me here and it seems that one headshot is not enough to kill them. But yeah, to be able to do this in VR, to hold my gun and to shoot them here. Yeah, that feels absolutely fantastic. Uh, oh, uh, I can do a melee. Okay, I am kind of panicking now. There is a guy with a chainsaw hunting me down and I have no clue how to kill him. This pistol seems to be a little bit weak. I try it. There's hundreds of guys as well. And I... Oh, shit. Oh, no way. No way. Yep. So yeah, like I said, this is my first time playing Resident Evil 4 and in VR. The gunplay feels pretty awesome, I have to say using the shotgun here and you physically you manually have to reload them like you can see over here no automatic reloading although there is an option for that there is an option for that now, there's some woman over here that we can kill and uh, let me just pick that up you do that you pick things up with x that's it floating arms as well that's a big headshot and here we can just reload the gun and there we go Again, there is an automatic reload option, but of course in VR you want to manually reload the gun. Here we have the pistol. Looks pretty awesome by the way. Taking the uh, ammunition here and just putting it into gun and then pulling the slide and we are ready to kill some enemies. The scenery in VR also looks pretty beautiful and it's very smooth. I have encountered zero stutters in my first hour of gameplay and I hope that will continue. Um, do know there is a lot of reprojection going on so it might, you see a lot of ghosting which you don't see in the headset or in the social screen right here. Also picking up things, you don't do that physically. You press the X button, which I like. I don't want to duck all the time to grab certain stuff. If you throw a, your weapons on the ground or if you throw your knife on the ground, it will automatically be coming back to your belt and easier for you to grab again. Also, sometimes it puts you in third person mode when you need to push certain things, which I don't really mind. Uh, it's probably better than having that in first person. Also, the cinematics that sometimes appear are on flat screen. So they are just in a box in front of you. And when the cinematic is over, you are going back into the VR mode. Now, of course, I don't mind. This game is not built from the ground up for VR. I understand that, you know, you have the base game and it then translates into VR. So I'm quite, you know, for what it is, it's it, it does it all very good. Oh shit, what is that behind this door? Oh, fuck me. Okay, hello, buddy. I hope my shotgun is enough to kill you. Oh man, this feels so powerful with the haptic feedback as well. There we go. Bye bye, buddy. Boom. Opening the menu, by the way, also works pretty well. That's just holding your trigger and then the joystick up. And what I like in VR is that you can examine items, but you can actually hold them. So you can just turn them around, uh, take a closer look. I know you can do that on flat screen as well, but then you have to do it with your mouse, I think, or with your joystick on the PlayStation. But yeah, I kind of like this addition to the VR mode uh, of Resident Evil 4. But you have you had this also in 8. And dragging stuff in your inventory is also kind of easy. You just hold the drag button and you just drag it around. So it's it's super easy. They have managed to do this very well, very intuitive. I have nothing to complain here, to be honest. We can also hold the gun and put that in a shortcut slot so we can easily grab it once we are in game. So yeah, really, really, really and really intuitive experience here. Resident Evil 4 is now 50% off in the PlayStation Store. So if you have a PlayStation VR laying around, a PSVR 2 that is, yeah, then this is almost a must buy. Although you have to like all the gore and the horror stuff. But yeah, I can't wait to continue now my story in Resident Evil 4. And uh, yeah, just to experience this for the first time and in VR, yeah, that's quite amazing. I hope to see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.